Good evening and welcome to News Channel 8. I'm Jerome Aegean and here's some of the top stories we're working on tonight. A tragic accident on St. John. Hovensa takes precautions and your triathlon highlights. Details on these stories and more coming up next on News Channel 8. In our top story tonight, a St. John woman has been killed in a tragic accident as her Jeep overturned. News Channel 8's Lee Carl files this report. A St. John woman died after a car fell 70 feet. The roads were wet along Centerline Road near State Carolina. And the Saturday morning, a car driven by a, a woman and a man passenger, her name was Ann Hingman, went over an embankment according to a prepared statement from the police department that St. John Rescue was on hand, fire service removed to the scene, uh, Hingman and her male passenger from the vehicle. Both were taken to the Myra Keating Smith Community Health Center. Hingman was pronounced dead Saturday. Uh, the male passenger treated for his injuries. The police are investigating the accident, and according to the information we received, the road was wet and slick, and the vehicle was traveling downhill. Now, there's a real steep curve in this area, and she just missed it. And it went over the embankment, uh, rolled over a couple of times, according to the preliminary report. Investigation is still underway. And in other news tonight, an oil tanker from Mexico has been quarantined. It's all about the swine flu outbreak that everybody's been talking about. Here's News Channel 8's Wes Small with details. Here we are at Hovenza near Castle Coakley area on St. Croix. And by now, I'm, I'm sure you've heard all the rumors. It first started around 7.30 on Saturday night when this reporter got a call from one of his sources that possible H1N1, better known as swine flu, had arrived into the VI territory. That via a Hovenza vessel um, that originated from Mexico. Well, rumors and so forth and melee has taken its toll this weekend. So all sorts of speculations are out now about this epidemic of swine flu being in the Virgin Islands. So with that, um, we checked out the Department of Health and according to them, there's no reported cases of swine flu in our area. However, two vessels, uh, we believe two vessels anyway from Hovenza has been detained, not detained, but quarantined. So for that, let's go to the Vice President, Alex Moorhead of Hovenza. This weekend, a tanker arrived at the refinery uh, to load uh, petroleum product for a customer. The tanker's last stop was in New Orleans. Louisiana. However, prior to that, the tanker docked at a port in Mexico. In view of this information, we notified the Department of Health that the tankers uh, come in, and we coordinated procedure to be followed while it is here. The tanker's arrival, we contacted the master of the vessel and uh, received certification that no member of the crew has contracted or it has it of H1N1 virus, also known as swine flu. Uh, nonetheless, the company and the Department of Health jointly agreed that uh, during the vessels here, the vessels uh, visit here, the crew will be kept on board, and as a, that is an, an abundance of caution. And in addition, an additional precaution, the uh, crew, the members of our go on board will be required to wear uh, disposable masks and disposable gloves. Now, I just learned that a press conference that was scheduled by Department of Health was postponed until tomorrow. That was supposed to take place at 3 o'clock at the old uh, hospital in Christiansted. We'll just have to uh, get in touch with Eunice Bed Minister and also the Acting Commissioner of Health uh, to figure out what's going on with that. But for right now, keep your hands washed. Uh, watch out for the flu symptoms, of course. Uh, if you are sick, don't take it to work or to school, um, but uh, try to get some medical help and just um, uh, beware of keeping in close contact. I hate to say that, but that's what we're dealing with, close contact with sick people. 
And remember, uh, wash your hands. That's pretty most important. For now, um, the swine flu is not in the Virgin Islands, at least not from Hovenza's point of view anyway. I'm Wes Small for News Channel 8. Thanks, Wes. And we now have your crime blotter update from News Channel 8 correspondent Lee Carl. Police are investigating a shooting that injured two men near the Nada Bridge intersection. Uh, about um, Actually, this is about an hour after the carnival races on Friday. Uh, an armed man stood on the road and began firing gunshots at a burgundy Chevy Trailblazer with two people inside. And the police department says that uh, the vehicle, uh, it was struck several times, and the injured driver, another vehicle in the area was struck by gunshots on the passenger side of the windshield. So there were apparently two men firing uh, guns, occupants of that vehicle, not injured. but. The police said the uh, shooter was uh, firing two weapons simultaneously, almost Western style, and the driver, the trailblazer, was wounded in both uh, arms and bullets, uh, grazed his chest. He was in stable condition at the Snyder Hospital. The other person in the car was not injured, but both people in the trailblazer said they didn't see who fired at them. The vehicle was damaged by several bullets, and the police did confiscate a Glock 9mm firearm from inside the trailblazer, police are asking anyone with any information on that to call immediately. Shots were fired in the Emancipation Gardens Saturday. Fog of calls there. Police classified the incident as a first-degree assault, which means someone was shot, but they didn't have very much more information on that. Snyder Regional Hospital spokesman Sam Top said a woman was brought to the Snyder Hospital with a gunshot wound to the leg around midnight, but he couldn't confirm that she was the victim of the Emancipation Garden shooting. The officer who was on foot near St. Peter and Paul's School at General Gata was struck, and uh, they could not confirm what took place here, but he was treated, uh, seeking treatment at the hospital. Armed robbery. This took place on um, Saturday. A man reported armed robbery to the police. A man told the uh, police he was robbed at, uh, uh, at St. John Park, the place called St. John Park, and no further information. And finally, there were two uh, young men or persons sons that ran away over the weekend. At uh, Friday, a man reported his minor son had run away from his Savon home. A second runaway was reported Sunday by the boy's father at Winberg. I think they're both back home. So that's the blotter report at the end of Carnival 2009. In St. Thomas, Lee Carl for News Channel.